What is up guys, it's your boy Swolam here, back with another classic WoW video for Season of Discovery. Now, what would you say if I told you you could make about 50 gold per hour while being basically AFK? Today I want to show you guys one of the crafts that I've been doing recently, and it's not really one of those where you craft something with a low sell rate, you craft something with a high sell rate, and it's selling super fast. So you can just stand AFK, craft these, and sell pretty much all of them almost instantly. They sell so fast, and you can make a lot of gold by doing this. I've done the math on my server, it's 50 gold right now. I'll be doing the math with you guys as well and taking a look at some of the other service prices for this one specific craft. You can do this with multiple crafts as well but I'm doing it on one specific one and it's making me a lot of gold so far. Now if you haven't checked it out yet I do have a gold making guide as well for Season of Discovery and Classic WoW in general which if you get this guide you also get early access to gold making videos just like this one. So gold making videos, gold farming videos, investment videos, you will get access to them before they're public, making you able to take even better advantage of them, and making more gold before they go public, and every, th every time like some gold making method does go public, it does devalue that method a little bit, even though it's still going to be profitable, really good, and just um, yeah, overall super good as well, but you can get them before they go public by having this guide. On top of that, you get the guide itself of course, it's a 157 long pages document, long pages, pages long document, and including more than 50 different gold farms you can do right now, and in next phase as well in Season of Discovery, it also includes phase 3 investments, and we're going to be talking about phase 4 investments, we have the best crafts to do in Season of Discovery, and we're just going to be keep updating the guide, and when you have it once, you will get the updates for free. You also get access to a private gold making community where you can ask me questions, I can answer your questions, and we can share tips and tricks back and forth in a closed off community. That way we're all able to make even more gold as well, and that is where I share early access to these videos. So once you, once you get the guide, do make sure to join that Discord community as well, to take full advantage of everything you get. And if you get it, if you want to get it, the link to it will be down below in the video description or the pinned comment. It really helps me out as a content creator, and I think I'll be able to help you make some gold as well. It could be a win-win scenario, so once again, the link to the guide will be down below, and if you do check it out, thank you so much, I really do appreciate it. Now for the main craft today, we're taking a look at one item, and it's mainly going to be the fire fin snappers. And the fire fin snappers you can turn into fire oil, which can further be turned into elixirs of firepower. We're not going to be talking about the firepower elixirs that much today, it's more going to be turning fire fin snappers into fire oil. Now as you can see, fire fin snappers are about 6 silver, even sometimes cheaper than 6 silver, on my ocean house, and that's 103% of their market value. Now fire oil is about 19 to 20 silver. Now I've taken this for it to be 19 silver because that was the price 5 minutes ago. It's gone up to 20 now so the profit margins is even better than I was doing the math from here. So you can make even more than 50 gold per hour by turning fire fin snappers into fire oil. Now why would people buy fire oil? Well fire oil is first of all used in a waylaid supply and then it's used in making elixirs of firepower. In phase 3 it will also be used in making elixirs of greater firepower as well, meaning this is not just a flip right now, it's a flip in phase 3, phase 4, and every single future phase, because that elixir will be used by every single fire mage, every single destruction warlock, and various other classes as well that use uh, elixirs of firepower. So, Elixirs of Firepower, the regular ones, are used right now in Phase 2, and these are also used in the Waylaid Supply. So, Fire Oils are being used for two different Waylaid Supplies, one for the oil itself, and one for the, um, the Elixirs of Firepower. And then the Elixirs are also used by people inside raids, dungeons, you name it. Right, so there's a big demand for the Elixirs and the oils, especially the oils, and you can literally make, as you can see, Farfin snappers, 6 silver each, and fire oil is 19, almost 20 silver each. Now to make a fire oil, you need 2 farfin snappers. So if you take the price of 2 farfin snappers right here, 6 multiplied by 2, that is 12. And they're selling for 20, that is 8 silver profit. You also need 1 empty vial, but there are 4 copper on the auction, uh, not on the auction house, but from a vendor, so 4 copper extra for the empty vial in this case, so you can literally turn 12 silver into 20 silver and do this on repeat.
Now, I've already done some of the math here on my server, so first of all, these were the prices when I checked. Farfin Snappers was 6 silver, as they currently are, and Fire Oil was 19, they're now up to 20. I'm still going to be using 19 here, because that was the price when I did the math, so 19 silver instead of 20 for the Fire Oil. Now that gives us 7 silver profit per craft, based on these prices you're turning 2 firefin snappers into 1 oil, 7 silver profit, and it has a 5 second craft time. You, that means you can make 12 crafts per minute, and with 12 crafts per minute that also gives us 720 crafts per hour. 720 crafts per hour multiplied by 7 silver profit is 5040 silver, divide that by 100 to get the gold value, you're left with 50 gold and 40 silver, but let's just round it down to 50 gold per hour. And as you can see, the fire oils have already gone up in price since I did this math literally 5 minutes ago. Well, actually the video is 6 minutes long now, so like a little bit like 10 minutes ago, I did this math and the prices have already gone from 19 to 20, meaning these are selling really fast on the auction house. There's also not that many oil on the auction house right now, you can see the price jumps from 19 to 20, then 25, then 35, so the price jumps are absolutely massive. If you're just taking the time and actually making this item. So this is like a really passive gold making strategy that I've been using quite a bit recently and it's just so free. There's no way this isn't profitable, like it's always going to be profitable. The only thing is the actual profit margins will vary a lot. But as you can see, the region market value average of fire fire oil is 18.5 and the region market value average of fire fin snappers is 7 silver, meaning that you're making about 4 to 5 silver profit on pretty much every single server out there. Some could be way lower, some could be way higher, and we're just going to take a look at JP Worgen here during the video right now to give you an idea of which servers this is going to be profitable on, because I'm only playing on Living Flame. I can only talk about profits from my point of view and my server. That being said, I'm playing on the biggest server in the world, so I feel like that by itself it means that for a lot of you this will be profitable because chances are you also play on Living Flame. But if you play on a different server, which there is a big chance you're doing as well, we have so many servers in Season of Discovery, I'm gonna take a look at all of them. Now, if we take a look at JP Worgen here, we can see some of the profits on some of the items. So, Farfin Snappers, we can take a look at, for example, I'm playing on Living Flame, we just checked out Living Flame, and we know the median buyouts of Living Flame. That being said, let's take a look at Lone Wolf Horde, for example. Lone Wolf EU on the Horde side. The prices for Farfin Snappers is a little bit higher. They are going for the... And this is like the last 12 hours, by the way, if I just take this down a little bit. You can see I'm searching for in the last 12 hours on, on the search. So the last 12 hours. This is which services has been profitable on. So Living Flame, 0.08. A little bit more expensive on the Farfin Snappers, 0.08, but going back to uh, Lone Wolf EU Horde once again, we have 0.24 as the median buyout the last 12 hours on Fire Oil. That means that while I'm making 7 silver profit, you are making 8, because both the items are more expensive for you than they are for me. And part of the reason why I'm doing this is that so many people are trying to go like, oh, this is not profitable on my server. We can literally look at JP Worgen, which service this is profitable on. Let's take a look at Lava Lash, EU on the Alliance side, 0.05 for Firefin Snappers, right? Which means that if it's more than 0.1 on the Fire Oil, this one is profitable, as long as the other one is more than twice. So Lava Lash, EU, Alliance, it's 0.2. You guys are making 11 silver profit. If you're playing on Lava Lash and you haven't tapped into this market by the way, this is a market you have to tap into right now. Let's take a look at my alt server, so Wild Growth on the Alliance side, and this one is going for 0.2, and Wild Growth EU, um, Wild Growth EU and the Horde Alliance side. So Wild Growth EU, this one is actually not profitable on average at the moment. That one's kind of weird. Um, Wild Growth, Lava Lash, Lone Wolf. 
What about Crusader Strike? Actually, let's take. Can I look at some North American servers? I probably can, right? Let me just take a look at Crusader Strike real quick on the Alliance side first. So, Crusader Strike EU Alliance side is 0 0.07. And then we have um, Crusader Strike on the EU Alliance side, 0 0.22. Once again, about 7.5 silver profit there. For turning the fish into the oil, roughly the same gold that I'm making by the way, so that's about 50 gold per hour once again. So Crusader Strike, Lava Lash and also Lone Wolf on the Horde side. You guys are having a good time man. And you can even swatch this, sort this by like the most expensive ones. So let's take a look at Chaos Bolt, EU Alliance. For some reason Fire Oil has been selling for the median buyout of 0 0.73. That's 73 silver profit. So Chaos Bolt EU. And then we have Chaos Bolt EU over here as well, hopefully. Yeah. 0 0.4. So everything is just way more expensive on that server. Now, just to talk about this on the North American side as well, we can take a look at, for example, Crusader Strike US. I think that's one of the most popular servers, right? In uh, North America, you have a 0 0.08, which means that as long as the price is higher than 0 0.16 for the oils, you guys are also making profit. So once again, Crusader Strike US on the Alliance side is 0 0.2. You're making about 4 silver profit, which isn't exactly 50 gold per hour. It's more like 25, between 25 and 30. But that, that's still like 25 to 30 gold per hour by, with passive profit just for crafting an item and one of the things that i really like like about this is that you can fill up your bags and just craft for probably 20 minutes straight which gives you the option to either have two accounts like if you have two accounts you can craft on one make gold while playing on the other one or if you only have one account you can craft things in the game and do things in real life and still make gold you can go clean the apartment and make gold in the game while doing so you can take your first shower since season of Disco if discovery came out and still make gold while doing so it just gives you the option to just passively make gold in the game while doing other things, which I really do enjoy. Now, that's the fire oil. You can still do this with other craft as well. For example, you have the black mouth oil, but this one is going to be way less profitable. It's still good to incorporate, just because if you make way too many fire oil, you could have the difficulties actually offloading them, but for the most part, they do sell really fast. So for me, I'm putting most of my time and most of my gold into the farfin snappers and turning that into fire oil but you could also do the same thing with black mouth oil just take a look at that oily black mouth is going for okay way this one has been pumped up a lot on my server at the moment and this one has not been pumped up that much but the usual price you can see is two silver and this one is going for over seven so two i'm making about three silver profit from a black mouth oil usually not right now because somebody has just bought out the entire oily black mouth market but usually about two silver so three silver profit for one craft and those also sell really fast but for me i'm putting most of my time and effort into fire oil now also just to show you real quick how much i've been doing this recently and just like how profitable this can be if I hover over the Firefin Snappers, I have bought 20,951 of them for an average price of 5.7 silver. Just to like end the video by showing you that I'm putting my, my money where my mouth is, like I'm telling you about this gold making strategy, I'm using this gold making strategy, and it works. There's a reason why I'm sharing it, there's a reason why I'm doing it, and there's also a reason why it works. It's also a good item to, like, if you can't offload the fire, for them, the fire oil, it's not an item that will lose value. It keeps its value in every single phase because it's used in the elixir of greater firepower, where people need three oils to make one elixir. And that could also be part of a valid supply, by the way, in phase three or phase four. Either way, that's the video for today. Hopefully you're able to use this to make some gold as well. And um, hey, let me know the price differences and how much profit you make on your server in the comments down below. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the video and if it was able to help you out. That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you again very soon. Peace out.